Reynolds, thank you. And now to the West Coast, Casey Wine. Oh, I hear the screams. Casey, I want to just go right to you. Camp Pendleton, talk to me about what we're seeing, what we're about to see. Brooke. Brooke, behind me, you can see Alpha Company, the 1st Battalion, 4th Marines. They're just returning. And over here, you can see their family members waiting for their arrival. We've been seeing reunions happening all morning long, and it's really just one of the most incredible experiences that you can, that you can witness. Seeing some of these Marines reunite with their families. In many cases, we've seen them seeing their babies for the first time. This group of Marines has been deployed overseas for a little more than seven months. And during their, their tenure, they have uh, provided close air support in Afghanistan. They've also provided flood relief to, to victims in Pakistan. And back in September, you may remember when a group of Somali pirates captured a German cargo ship. This group of Marines, is the, are, they are the Marines that actually recaptured that commercial cargo ship from those Somali pirates, rescued the civilian civilian crew. So they provided many important operations that we often don't think about. There's been so much focus on Iraq and Afghanistan, but the, the U.S. military obviously is deployed all over the world, and you can start to hear the screams of these family members yeah. who are uh, just anxiously awaiting the arrival uh, and the, reu the reunions with their loved ones. Casey, let but me just jump, jump in and just ask, because some people may be sitting at home and saying, wait a second, why aren't these, you know, kids and mothers and husbands running toward one another? Explain the process, because they kind of have to they have to hang back momentarily. Well, the process is fairly involved. They landed, uh, they were on ships offshore, and they uh, uh, came to shore in smaller boats and rode over to the Camp Pendleton base uh, in buses, and then they have to go and check their gear and, and uh, store their weapons. And so many of them have been, uh, been here for several hours, and the family members have just been waiting anxiously for them to actually uh, reunite. But it is, it is quite a long process that they, that they have to uh, go through. Let's just let, let's just stay, listen and listen to this. Deal. Here they go. Okay, so stay there. Welcome home. Can we, can we talk to you folks for just yes, a sir. second? Yeah. Tell me your name, your rank, and who you're with here. Uh, Lance Corporal Ibarra. This is my wife, Sarah, and my daughter, Alessandra. And how old is Alessandra? She's 15 oh. months, sir. So you've been away from her for how long? Uh, about seven months, sir. What's it been like? Uh, it's tough, sir. Uh, I miss them a lot. Uh, communication is not so good all the time, so it's good to... Uh, it's good to finally see him, sir. And what's it like to have your husband back? Oh, my God, it's amazing. It's so amazing. Uh, I was so excited to make sure he was back by Christmas. I can't tell you how excited I was. <laughs> imagine it's going to be a pretty good Christmas at the yes, Ibarra sir. house. Yes, sir. Yes. Thanks for your time and thank thanks you, for your sir. service. You. I really appreciate it. How about that? Brooke, it just doesn't get any better than that. It really you know? doesn't. I, I just total serendipity that we were able to catch this at this precise moment. Casey Wine, I thank you so much. And please pass along our gratitude to these men and women uh, for all of their duty, their duty overseas. Uh, what a wonderful moment uh, to share with everyone. Will do. Will do. Ooh, Casey, thank you. Got this Welcome back. There. Uh, now moving on. How about that? Amazing. The feeling most people get when they hear a Barack Obama speech, my, I felt this thrill right. going up my leg. I well, mean, I don't have that too often. Steady. No, seriously. 